Today we're looking at Cakewalk free VST software. In this Cakewalk by BandLab tutorial, we'll look at how to get VST plugins, download free, and install them so you can load them up in your projects. Welcome to Simple Green Tech. I'm Radio Zane, and on this channel, I do audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you unleash your creativity. Today we're doing a Cakewalk by BandLab tutorial looking at how to add plugins to Cakewalk. This is a free DAW that you can download from the BandLab website. I've included a link in the description below just in case you don't have it already. Okay, so before we start, we're going to need to grab a VST plugin to install. I'm going to grab a free one off of Plugin Boutique. They have some great free VST plugins and you can also grab premium VST plugins for discounted prices. I'll include a link to them in the description below. I'm going to grab this Synth Master Player Free Synth. Once it's downloaded, run the installer. You want to make sure you install the 64-bit VST2 plugin as Cakewalk is a 64-bit program. For this part, you can just go with the default setting here. But what you want to make sure is when you get to the Select 64-bit VST2 plugin folder section, you want to take note of where this is. So it's C Program Files VST Plugins, and then it goes into its own folder. That doesn't matter. What we really want is the C Program Files VST Plugins. So just kind of keep note of where that is. Finish the installation, and then we'll open up Cakewalk by BandLab. Once you have Cakewalk open, go up to Edit, click on Preferences, and then you'll want to go down to VST settings. And you'll see two folders in here. You have Cakewalk VST plugins, which is Cakewalk's own VST plugin folder. And you have another one here, which is Common Files VST3. And that's where VST3 plugins normally will install. So keep these both here. What we want to do is click on Add. And then in here, we want to scroll to the folder where we know that our plugin installed to which is C Program Files VST Plugins. Don't worry about any of these other folders. They will actually install with it. We just want the parent folder right here. Then click on OK. And you'll notice that it starts scanning your plugins right away. I have some other plugins in there, so it's going to be loading up quite a few. But if you just have one, you'll see that it scans the one no problem. And if you do plan on getting more VST plugins, they will likely install to this folder or to another folder that I'll show you right now. And you can add that one too. And it's C Program Files Steinberg VST Plugins. And these are the two folders that plugins typically install to. Then we'll just hit OK to exit the Preferences tab. All right, let's test this out by going up to Insert. Then we want to go to Soft Synth, and it's going to be in the Uncategorized section. So let's click there, and we can see Synth Master Player right here. We'll click on that. You might have a window pop up next with some options. You can just click OK to continue or unclick the Ask This Every Time button if you don't want to see it again. And to see our new synth, we'll just click this little image here. There is our Synth Master Player. Click this video right here to see my top five free DAW selections and click this one down here to see what YouTube recommends you watch next. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this one. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane and we'll talk soon.